Hi everybody, Father Marshall Shelley here coming to you from St. Peter's Episcopal Church, 505 Main Spotswood. That's important because right behind me is Main Street and uh, this message is going to be a little different. You're going to hear some road noise and some traffic behind me, but I wanted to come to this spot in particular uh, for a very particular reason. We're getting ready in our church to open our doors and to re-enter our space. For the past year and a half we've been outside and one of the things we've had to contend with in our worship is road noise. Trucks going past, brakes, engines, uh, people honking and everything going on. So I wanted to take this moment in this context to talk about where I'm sitting right now and why that's important both in terms of the intersection that our church has here on a very busy corner on Main Street and DeVoe at the center of Spotswood, but also the importance of where I'm sitting in this very moment. Because if you drive by St. Peter's, you know that aside from our beautiful church, which is just over there, you're also going to drive past what's behind me, which is the lich gate of the church. This, uh, this particular gate was given according to the sign. Um, according to the sign, it was dedicated in 1926. Um, it was uh, a gift of the Helm family, uh, founders of the town of Helmetta. And where I'm sitting right now is actually an unusual feature of a lich gate. It is the coffin nook. See, a lich gate was a place where people bringing their dead to be buried in the churchyard to have the uh, services read over them at the uh, close of their lives. This is where the priest would greet them on their way to the church. The funeral party would arrive by carriage. Um, the coffin would be propped up in this nook and the pallbearers would stand underneath the canopy that's just about over my head right here and uh, wait for the priest to arrive. These gates have stood open throughout the pandemic as a sign of welcome and a sign of the witness that we have to welcome everyone home to St. Peter's and it's been important to us to share that with you. What's also important is that you understand that the mission and ministry of St. Peter's is not relegated to something that is behind closed doors. We are not a community, and we realize that now in some very deep ways. We're not a community that's apart from, but rather in the midst of our world and the mission context in which we serve. So when we seek to witness Christ, I realize we witness Christ at a very busy corner in our lives and at a very busy point in our lives, which comes and brings me to that moment when I talk about the word. The word is return. Return is a very important world. Return is a commitment we make in our lives to go back to a certain point not in order to go back to a point in time, but instead to go to a certain place so that we might realize just how much we are transformed throughout the course of our lives in our growth in Christ, in our growth as individuals, in our growth in community. Oftentimes I've returned to some of the home places in my life and, uh, and I've been impressed by how much I've grown and changed and altered, how much my story has altered. And uh, I'd say that every time I go away from and come back to St. Peter's, I experience a different connection, a different point of intersection, a different sense of entering through a gate into community. We're getting ready to do that on Sunday when we return to our sacred space as a community of faith to proclaim our witness in Christ. And I urge you to join us virtually or in person. Again, sorry for the loud noise. It was an intentional choice that I'm starting to regret, but uh, I'm appreciative of your time and your patience and bearing with me in this. We are getting ready next week for a huge tent sale celebrating Christmas in July with our thrift shop. We continue to celebrate the 411 effort of granting uh, money to local restaurants to assist us in feeding the hungry with the community soup kitchen. We continue to care for and bear witness to the pastoral rights of the church. We've had uh, several funerals in the past weeks. We're now getting ready for several baptisms. We are celebrating in the midst of the cacophony of an everyday life, the glory and wonder of what it means to serve Christ. So uh, when you come on Sunday and arrive in person or if you are participating in the life of Christ through the witness of uh, social media, please know that we are happy to welcome you home in his holy name. Amen.
and may your return be one of blessing. Take care and God bless. Bye-bye.